What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we made our way to... Actually, I forget exactly where we are, but we are looking for the Dunbat, which is something gonna, that's going to allow us to go um, deep into the Abyss and find the Ark. There were a couple different ways we could have gone. I think there was a stairwell over in that direction, and then there was this hallway over here. What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Alright, thanks for the input, Catherine. <laughs> so, I guess in the meantime, we're gonna head over in this direction and see what we can find. Yeah, we needed, oh, that's right, we needed like a passcode or something. It's awfully bright. I don't think that's gonna last. <laughs> oh, we gotta stay hydrated. Let's get some water. Anything of interest in here? No? I don't think so. What is this? Huh. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder in games like this, where... I don't know, there's so many rooms that are just kind of like filled with random stuff to interact with. Like, how those things were chosen in the first place. Wow, it is tough to see that door. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the ship. Maybe something went wrong. really stuck on that. I'm just worried about my colleagues. So, first things first. That was pretty freaky. That was pretty freaky. So we're getting close to whatever sort of problem we're going to encounter is. Is there anything notable here at the moment? Can I, can I go through this? Or is this just an elevator shaft that clearly no longer functions well? Um, is there anything in here? The trash? Nope. Okay. What do we have on the TV? Error. Lovely. My favorite channel. Okay, gotta, gotta keep that grip strength up. And then, wh what is this? Some pictures from Earth. Couldn't tell you where. But, from somewhere. And then, what about this one here? Okay, more pictures of humanity, I guess. Arguably helping those who are here maintain their own humanity. There are a couple of bathrooms. Gonna find anything interesting in here? Oh my goodness! What? So this is this is confirmation. We are a robot. <clears throat> wow. A cool looking one at that too. Like look at the the red eyes and everything. I don't know if those of you who have seen Sword Art Online, but it reminds me of the villain from Gun Gale Online. I forget his name, though. But, wow. That's actually a really cool design. I like it a lot. Anything else interesting in here? It's, like, pretty typical in horror games to have multiple stalls, and it's like in the last one there's, you know, something waiting to spook you. So, let's see here. Oh. Especially in a game like Corpse Party. <laughs> Shout out to those of you who have played Corpse Party. Is this, what was a shower? Yeah, I think so. What's this on the ground here? Uh, like some sort of bottle of something? Yeah, it looks like it. Can we turn these on? Do we want to? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Alright. Just uh, just some interesting little detail to build the world a little bit. What about this bathroom? I swear, not appreciated. Lights. <laughs> Anything interesting in here? Probably not, but hey, can't hurt to look. Well, actually, maybe you can if we're, you know, just waiting here as an enemy is approaching us and just getting closer and closer to meeting our maker. Alright, showers. Pretty same compared to the other one. But, you know, gotta check everything just to be safe. What's this here? Some sort of, like, toothpaste? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, some, some hand soap. And with that, lovely. 
<clears throat> so I wonder if that was just like, geez, sorry guys, I just ate something a little bit spicy and my, my throat tends to get a little, a little congested afterwards, but I wonder if the game is keeping track of how many rooms we're exploring and then based on how many rooms we, we are exploring. Can I go out here? It feels like I should be able to, but it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I guess not. I wonder if the game is keeping track of how many rooms we've been to and then as a result is turning off the lights. So it looks like there's a stairwell over here or there's more hallway over here. Let's check this out for now. There's gonna be like one creepy one where all of these lights sequentially go out, I'm sure. So this is Guy Conrad. Open the door. And what do we find? That's right, I have a flashlight. A meteor that reminds me of the logo for Final Fantasy VII. Lovely, lovely. Something for... It looks like you would put an Omni tool here. Or maybe not. It's just like an intercom of some sort. Okay. Nothing of interest there. What is this a picture of? The sun? Presumably? What is there like a, like a path leading up to it though? I don't know. And then in the lower left some pictures from Earth, presumably. Floppy pillow, nice, nice. What is this? Tool safety? Hmm. It looks like maybe a design for for the Omni tool or something like that. The the Mazer or whatever it's called. Can we read any of this? No. Oh no, I want that light on it. Thank you very much. Some pictures about her space. Anything else of interest? Some Allen wrenches? Can always use those. Especially if you're dealing with IKEA furniture. Yep. Brandon. Maggie. Komorebi. I feel like. Oh, and then this is Catherine's room. What's going on in Catherine's room? Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. I wonder, can she, like, see them right now through sort of, like, my vision feed or, or no? Can we turn on the computer? Or what is this? Journal and an AR capsule? So June 6th, 2103. Imogen Reed. Imogen Reed? <laughs> uh, tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like, someone has specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Interesting. So they had a machine that was corrupted by WoW, and they almost allude that somebody possibly set up these machines to be corrupted easily by WoW, right? Some sort of inside uh, mechanism. And then that corrupted machine was then scanned and uploaded into the digital world, showing that it's not just humans that can be uploaded into the digital world. But a week later, after dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that Wild copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs, the Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content. From the originating brain scan, Reed emerged. Huh, the Reed inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. A week later, I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. So now they're talking about the technology used to scan, and it looks like Catherine utilized what the what, what WoW did in order to learn from it for, for her own benefit, right? It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. What are mockingbirds? The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. Oh, so while WoW is corrupted, it's been subtly stealing scans of people that sit in pilot seats and then using them to create an intelligence used to program machines that presumably are what's running after us now. And then July 3rd, 
So it's been a couple weeks now. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now have officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Sarang killed himself after his scan. He's been suggesting everyone should kill themselves, as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. And that's it. Oops. I still wanted to look at that. I always do that. I hit circled to go back. AR capsule. Notes. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. <laughs> new way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed. Didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. What does that mean? What does it mean to be too real in a simulation? Right? And how would that be problematic? I'm not really sure. What's a little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto-arc. Interesting. Can we turn on the computer? No? Maybe? What about this doll over here? Can we get some commentary from Catherine about it? No? Okay, it's a little, a little creepy if I'm honest, but hey, it's each their own. Alright, so that was Catherine's. Can we go in any of the others? No, it doesn't look like it. What about this one? Mark Sarang. So that's the person who killed himself after getting uploaded. So this might, we might find some origins of, uh, I guess, that whole thought process. Is this a suicide note? Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark Sarang. Interesting. I was gonna say, did, was my, like, flashlight particularly dim there? I don't know if it has, like, a battery of sorts or not, but Pavlina Martin. The nature of identity. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritually minded. In his book, Pavlina Martinu, professor of philosophy at the Charles University in Prague, guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity. Yeah, I mean, that clearly seems to be a, a key point of this game. What is this? I don't I don't really know. It's some sort of approval form? I don't really know. It's hard to think. I mean it's supposedly in, like important, right? So Mark Sarn was an intelligence analyst on Theta. The company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW a station wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the well from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The well is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Okay, so Mark was supposedly at least involved with WoW, um moving, or I guess like spreading throughout the station, right? Potentially prior to its corruption. What is this on, on his bed? Can we interact with it? No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, and then we got a whole bunch of documents over here. So I don't really... Hmm. What does that mean? What does this mean? I think they're pointing to those little things that eat our arms each time. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Clearly a lot was puzzling Mark, right? And I don't really recognize these, uh, these equations too much. I mean, on, on top it looks like some sort of, I don't know, like decay type equation. But, yeah, and that's what 
th this looks pretty similar to some sort of like Half-Life-esque question, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But yeah, I don't really know. I mean, Mark was puzzled as well. And oh, we've even got some calculus. How exciting! But I don't really know how to decipher everything, honestly. But clearly, there was a lot going on. It. I would get. I would guess that it's somehow related to the spread of WoW, right? And like the growth with which it was um, spreading throughout the entirety of the place. Now, which way do we come from? I think back there. So we'll continue on this way. Robin Bass. Now, we've heard that name before. That was the robot that we found outside, right? That we unfortunately lied to. Yikes. So Robin did not arguably as, as cleanly go as Mark did. Anything of interest over here before we take a look at the, the more grim bed? Yikes. So there's a lot of blood here. And we have a picture of arguably possibly him and his daughter, him and his wife. Probably daughter. This music is so unsettling. And then some pictures. This, oh, interesting. So this is him and his daughter experiencing the, the environment of the Ark, right? So maybe his daughter was under the impression that they were going to be going there together and living together and so forth. And that was part of the, his motivation. Wow, it's almost sad to see all these. some pictures of the real world. Oh my goodness, it's a cat! This might be one of my favorite photos in all of this game. Horses, not not, not as nice as cats, honestly, but you know what, it's all right. Animals are great. We're all dying anyway, I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarang and the continuity. Yeah, wow. And it seems like that faith was misplaced, if I'm honest. Was there something I could interact with that was kind of shining over here? Hmm. Looked like it for a second. This chair is in the way. Everybody was training their grip strength. Was that like their only means of exercise while they were here? It's in the bottom drawer. Anything interesting? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So that's Robin's room. And then we have Martin Fisher. I do not remember how we've heard about Martin Fisher before. But it seems like his room has seen better days. What is going on? We have another one of these guys. Clearly spread over here. Don't know how it's interacting with us again. Something related to structure gel, maybe? What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. Interesting. I didn't realize it was helping us in some manner. Because we've been getting a bunch of them. I wonder what happens if you don't get a lot of them. Does it actually have a noticeable impact on gameplay? At least now we know from Catherine that that is wow. It's interesting. Are we becoming somewhat dependent on WoW? Are we already somewhat dependent on WoW? Oh, lovely. Oh my. That is a rather unpleasant thing to look at. Okay, so we can't go through there, I don't think. But yikes. So it's monitoring that hallway. Good to know. Good to know. We're going to have fun walking around with that guy coming after us. It reminds me of the monster from Amnesia, actually. So we did not go this way. It's the only way. And then there's this part over here. And that's going to lead to that hallway with the monster. I'm going to try and explore this floor first. And then we'll head downstairs. 
but it seems we might not have much of a choice. Oh, no, we have the option. All right, wish me luck, guys. Going in. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was I had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Makes sense. Can we do anything in here? I closed the door. Wait, can we not? There was a little area I accessed, right? I thought it was back there. Anything shown by the, the pilot seat? What is this part here? Like a picture of a fi of like fish and stuff? Huh. Anything we can access on this computer? Connection error. What's wrong? Error code, unable to maintain connect to mainframe, please reset router in the sublevel vault or contact maintenance. Interesting. So when we go when we do go downstairs, if we do reset the router, we can come back here and potentially find some useful information. So I'm gonna have to try to keep that in mind for the future. Anything else of interest over here? Doesn't seem so. Data buffer available. Uh Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, Mazer tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Yikes, that sounds like a pretty difficult situation. And I do not envy Catherine in the slightest dealing with that. Just with all the blame for everybody else's kind of crazy thoughts. Okay, well, it looks like we have explored all there is to explore here. Um, we'll just have to remember to come back. Okay, so that opens both doors. What's going on in this room? Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. So the Nanami composition. Nanami? Let's see. Type compressed Nakajima. Neurograph captured March 12th, 2014. Subject Nanami. Huh. And then there's Berg. Okay. And then there's Munchi. Why does that name sound familiar? David Munchi. How did this? Oh, what wasn't he this? the doctor? David Munchi. Yeah, he was the he was the doctor that was gonna scan us, right? And it shows that he died in 2078 and is from Canada. What is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. What? A legacy scan? We died on June 1st, 2015. Oh, I don't remember the date when we started. When did we die? We're only 27. We were captured May 2nd. Oh, so he died a month later. Huh. Okay, well, let, let's see if we can hear the audio recordings. Post scan on May 2nd. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Yikes. Can't wait to get back to living and dies a month later. And then when he does get back to living, it's not in the most ideal environment. But also, it's really sad that Simon, well, we don't know 100%, but likely was exploited, right? He was looking for some means of cure, some means of improvement after everything that happened to him. It was likely exploited for the sake of this project. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. 
Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. <laughs> so you had to do some intense neuro scan to figure out, oh yeah, just keep taking an aspirin every day and make sure you have a good diet and work out. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Yikes. What a sad recording. But we still don't really know what changed from May 20th to June 1st, right? And what happened that led to Simon being on his deathbed? And it wasn't something sudden. Simon, David, Munchie, they, they both were aware that Simon was going to die. And I guess that's him giving consent. Not truly informed What's consent, the but... They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So... My brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Yep, sounds about right. But that's really interesting to know. Okay, anything interesting here? I gotta remember, we are likely not alone over here. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Okay, we will turn on the lights. Probably a troubleshoot error. Or a connection error just the same as the previous one. So we'll have to come back here afterwards. Implement differently, you know, some plans, some sketches, all that jazz. Anything interesting here? Probably the same connection error. What is this? I wonder if we can get an interesting, like, I don't know, connection to our Omni tool through that. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. <laughs> much better. Yeah, I wonder how that changes, like, how we are restored as a person. Broken. Broken? Bust. This one, though. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Oh, I see, I see. Damaged. So they really want me to, to go through all of these and see which of them are okay? Doesn't look like there are any here. Is it really just going to be one? Or is it going to be multiple that we bring and then need to test when we eventually have the opportunity to do so? We still don't know how to extract the cipher from them. Yeah, I don't think we figured that out yet. We haven't gone downstairs yet. I'm very scared to go downstairs. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so it is just one. Nice. And we will come back here later. 
So I think this is the room where we can find our our not so nice friend. But with that in mind, now where do we go? Right, we've already explored there. Over here there's that stairwell. I mean I guess I guess we can do that, right? The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence path mark already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Interesting. So initially they were creating AI based off of real people um, and intentionally limiting them to some extent before they were uploaded to machines. But at some point things changed, right? Uh, where, especially in light of the Ark, uh, people were kept sentient afterwards and intended to, well, live on in the Ark. Not necessarily be uploaded to machines, though. So what's the missing step that went from, we have all these data scans of sentient people that are intended to stay digital, right? Stuck in the Ark, um, living on in the Ark, ho Ark, hopefully, right? And then that got changed to uploading so them into actual machines. There are other Simons or Catherines running around out there. Now I am. Geez, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. Yeah, that is pretty interesting. I really do wonder. Can we do this again? Interesting. I thought we could really only do this once. Oh, great. Because, of course. I wonder what the real Simon would have thought if he knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. The human Simon. Going by your reactions, I'd say he'd be pretty upset. <laughs> so th that's a really interesting conversation, because that little bit of dialogue, even though it's really... Oh, something glitching out over there. Even though it's really tiny, shows that Catherine sees the current Simon as the real Simon, as the human Simon, even though Simon clearly does not. So Catherine's saying, you know, how do you think the real Simon would respond? And has an answer based on what, well, the Simon right here is saying. Whereas Simon here is like, no, I don't really know because I don't think I'm the real Simon. Just kind of funny. Okay. Um, so the question is, do we go downstairs now? I think so. We might need to reset those routers to use those computers to extract the data. And it sounds like we will not be alone. But yeah, I, I would bet WoW is a big part of the missing piece, right? Jesus, what is that sound? But yeah, I bet WoW is part of the, the connection from having all of these brain scans of sentient people, right, which we know it was stealing from the pilot seats, to uploading them to machines um, without any sort of limit. That sound! Oh my goodness! So we can't go through that door, we have our choice of three doors. The one in the middle is lit up and flashing, making me think it's the most spooky. Oh boy. I don't like this. I don't see this. Oh, I saw a little bit of static. We are definitely not alone in here. Is there a data buffer or something over here? Oh my goodness. What even? Can we unplug it or something? Alright, so we're getting... Whatever it is, is approaching us. From where, though, is the question. 
I don't know. Game's having a little bit of a difficult time with the frame rate, but that's okay. Jeez. That is a sad sight. Again, I think it's wow, right? Integrating with people, trying to keep them alive. Is there an enemy over here? Probably. Where? Oh my goodness. Everything is so close quarters. Great, a dead end. Now it sounds super close too. Where is it? Oh shoot, it's close. And it's getting closer. Oh, it's right there. It is right there, right next to us. Pretty soon we're gonna have to resort to evasive maneuvers, so wish me luck, guys. If it comes right over here and notices us, we are we are pretty toast. And our only bet is gonna be trying to just run right past it, so let's hope it goes away. It sounds like it's moving and it hasn't gotten closer. Which is good. Oh, it's back, and it sees us, which is not so good. Getting ready for evasive maneuvers. It's dark. We're still. It doesn't seem to be moving. Please don't walk towards me. Please don't walk towards me. <sighs> most effective hiding ever. The most effective hiding. So we, we've got to get past it. Jeez, it sounds like it's got the like worst hairball. Where is it? Ah, this place is clearly intentionally labyrinth-like. Oh, there it is. Not a big fan of that one. Okay, so we've cornered ourselves. Ah, oh, darn it. I tried to run past it. Ah, clearly didn't work out so well. Alright, well I guess... I don't know if we can, like, heal over time. Just kind of chill in here. If so, I think that's the move. Just kind of chill here. And heal up a little bit. I don't think that's going to be the case, though. And it seems to be walking over here. But... Yeah, it seems to move fairly slowly when it's just kind of patrolling, so we'll have to wait a good amount of time for it to leave before we can walk over in that direction. But I think we do need to head over there eventually, right? Everything still seems foggy, so I don't think we're going to heal up over time. It seems to be close by, judging from the static, but I don't really know how close. And I can't tell. The, um, the peaking feature? Something I haven't really used too much. Is it there? Oh, I see its feet. I see its feet. Which way did it go? don't see its feet right now because it's only possible to really see when I can kind of eye it far off. I don't see it over there. Why am I talking so quietly? It's not like it can hear me. Where is it? I don't know where it is. I'm trying to like, you know, sense out where it is by looking through the, the cracks and the little passageways, but not having a lot of success. I figured that's part of the design, right? Is that I should be able to see a little bit through here to judge where it's at. But I don't... I don't see it anywhere. So I feel like I've missed my opportunity now, though. 
Oh, we'll give it a go. The static doesn't seem to be too intense at the moment. Where is it? It sounds like it's on my left, and it is. It's on my left, and I think it saw me. But we're gonna stay calm. We're gonna stay so stupidly calm, you wouldn't even believe it. Okay, another friend not doing so hot. But that's okay. Wanna know why? Because we stayed so calm. Okay, please reset router. Are you kidding me right now? Can I can I reset this? Can I do something? Come on. All right, router's been reset. It looked like it was taking some time to do something. We also totally were just seeing. Where is it going? Okay, it's over there. We are stable. We are in a stable situation. It's walking away. And it sounds like the computer is ready to be reset. So we are going to go over and do that while we have a moment. Flip switch. Action timeout. Okay, confirm the reset. Come on. Okay. We have reset the router. Now we need to escape. Did it see me? It sounded like it. Okay. It sounds relatively far away. So let's take our time. Stick to the sides. I don't see any static right now. Good signs, good signs. Doing fairly well. Oh, you know what? I bet the like data buffers or whatever heal us if we're in this current state. Okay. And we're going to close that door. Whew. I am taking a deep breath after that one. That was a very, very tense situation. But we did manage to reset the server or reconnect the, the router. So I think we should be able to access those computers. The question is, do we want to do that first? Or do we want to see what else is going on down here? I don't know. Either way, though, I think there might be a data buffer or, or something we can use to heal up here. Did I see static? Did I see static, or is that just me? I see static. Good job, Simon. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. It sounds like it's not so safe up here anymore. Oh, boy. Yeah, just listen to that. It's, it's, so, it's so not safe up here anymore. Alright. So we're going to head back down. I'm curious to see what those other two rooms hold. Uh, so we'll explore that. But of course we're going to explore that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Why is there static? Oh, what? There's one... What? There's one on the stairs? What? I should have gone in those rooms when I had the chance. Does it see me? Yes? No? Maybe? Oh my god. This place. Oh, wish me guys luck. We're going to explore the other two rooms. Try and get out of here alive in the next episode. But until the next episode, Smooth Night Zero. And this mission is complete.